On November 14th, 2014, William Pellin, one third of Team Cherry and the studio's game design lead, introduced the world to Hollow Knight. Under the moniker Wilbo on the official stencil forums, Pellin said, quote, We've been working on our game Hollow Knight for a few months now. We've got it to a point where we're ready to show it off, so I thought I'd do a post here on the stencil forum to let you know what we're working on. End quote. The way stencil works is if you're a game developer, you can choose to use the free version of the engine, but you can only publish your game to a website like Newgrounds, for example. For an annual license fee of $99, Stencil will allow you to publish your game both to web and desktop. Additional platforms like Android and iOS will incur a yearly subscription of $199. As simple as that. Pricing policies and marketing strategies vary across different engines, but some popular engines like CryEngine and Unreal Engine claim royalties from game developers who use their software. This is only after they've earned a certain amount of revenue. In Unreal Engine's FAQ, they state that, quote, a 5% royalty is due only if you're distributing an off-the-shelf product that incorporates Unreal Engine code, such as a game, end quote. They also say that, quote, you will only owe royalties once the lifetime gross revenue from that product exceeds a million US dollars. End quote. Team Cherry decided to switch to the Unity game engine at some point after the Hollow Knight Kickstarter was launched to allow more flexibility and to achieve the graphical fidelity and scope that we're familiar with today. In a blog post dated September 12th, 2023, Unity announced a new runtime fee based on game installs which will take effect from the 1st of January 2024. The editor states, quote, we are introducing a Unity runtime fee that is based upon each time a qualifying game is downloaded by an end user. We chose this because each time a game is downloaded, the Unity runtime is also installed." End quote. The tables on the screen now outline the criteria Unity will use to determine a game's eligibility for incurring these impending fees. But what does this all mean for Team Cherry and Silksong's release? Well, we can all kind of agree that a 2023 release is highly unlikely based on the zero information that we got from the recent Nintendo Direct and State of Play events. But I digress. More to the point. Initially I thought, well, Team Cherry would surely have to increase Silksong's launch price to offset these new fees, say $25.20 instead of just $25, and be on their merry way. But this isn't how it's going to work, because the fees will apply to every individual install or reinstall of the game from January 1st onwards. A second option would be to switch engines like they initially did with Hollow Knight, but I don't think that's feasible given how far along into Silksong's development they already are. I mean, Leth did a full Silksong playthrough a few weeks ago for Christ's sake. Third option, mark up the launch price akin to the big AAA titles like Starfield and Mortal Kombat, say $50, $60, and just pray the fans don't riot. The fourth option, which actually isn't beyond the realms of possibility, would be to delay Silksong indefinitely or scrap it entirely. What are your thoughts? Please let me know in the comments. Have a nice day.